Yeah. Well, I was going to wait till later, but I mean, the next Olympia is just over three months. <laughs> Are you coming back? What's up, desktopers? Xavier Wills here for Desktop Bodybuilding, and we are back with another video. And today I'm discussing Phil Heath reveals his plans for 2021, plus he states he is not retired. Nicholas Vulliard's shock retirement. Blessing a water boot. Is he going to Oxygen Gym? Lee Priest looking big. Now, how would he do if he makes a comeback? Plus, Muhammad Shaban's crazy transformation, exactly how much weight he gained. So we're going to kick it off and start with Nicholas Vulliard's retirement. Now, this is pretty shocking to me, at least anyway, because this guy looked like he's at the top of his game. He was prepping last year. Obviously, it was affected due to COVID, so he wasn't actually able to compete. And he said he just sort of, I suppose, just lost the love for it. And he said, if you're not 100% in it, then you can't sort of do bodybuilding. And I totally agree with that. Now, he's obviously still a young guy. He's got great potential. He did come second, I believe, to Hardy Chupin in a contest a couple of years ago, and he looked absolutely fantastic there in the 212s. So I really hope he does make a comeback at some stage. But I think sometimes these guys need to really totally step away from bodybuilding to sort of find that love again and come back and I think he's got plenty of potential to actually come back and do really well and place him at top 10 at Mr. Olympia because when he did compete in the Olympia I think it was in 2019 I think he placed 11th and wasn't quite as good uh, as he was in the past as well so I think that he can actually improve on that and get maybe even a top five in Mr. Olympia in the 212s but let me know what you think in the comments below. Now blessing a water boot it appears he's going to Oxygen Gym or at least is getting coached by Abdullah which is the coach of Brandon Curry which is your 2019 Mr. Olympia. Uh, he also coaches Mark Hector and a whole bunch of other names as well. He's becoming actually a coach of lots of top guys. Now, Abdullah posted this up and says, Welcome, bro, to my team. Guys, be ready to see the real next level. So I'm excited to see what happens with Blessing in the future and see how much size Blessing can actually add to his physique because he was working with Chad Nichols. And Chad Nichols is a guy for, you know, being well-renowned for working with big guys. So it's going to be interesting to see how much difference Oxygen Gym and Abdullah actually makes to Blessing Waterboo's physique in 2022 and onwards. Now, Lee Priest actually posted this photo up about six days ago now. I only just recently sort of noticed it. And he's looking absolutely enormous at the moment. I did hear on a recent an episode on RX Muscle, Dave Plumbo did mention again about Lee Priest making a comeback. He said, yeah, he's, I think he's making a comeback. And he's mentioned it a few times on there as well. So it seems like Dave has a bit of insight. Lee Priest is always on RX Muscle. I think Lee Priest is actually planning on at least making a comeback. And I'm interested to see what you guys think. How do you think Lee Priest would do if he does make a comeback? Now, he does have some size discrepancy between his arms because he did have that neck injury, which has caused nerve issues, which, you know, obviously affects growth to one side of your body. Um, so I totally understand that. But if he's able to correct a lot of that and, you know, get the surgeries that he needs, if he needs any more, I'm not too sure. But it'd be interesting to see actually how he looks if he does come back. So I know Lee Priest is probably heading towards 50 years of age at the moment. He might even actually be there at the moment, but his physique doesn't really suggest that he's actually 50 years of age. So let me know what you think in the comments below. Can Lee Priest come back in the 212s and actually be competitive in some pro lineups? Let me know what you think in the comments below. In our next story, we're discussing Joel Thomas looking absolutely huge at five and a half weeks out of a Tampa Pro. Now, I also wanted to feature this as well because his Instagram was actually hacked at 81,000 followers and he's only up to about three thousand now so i'll put his link in the description below for his instagram page so make sure you head over there and follow joel thomas but he's probably one of the most underrated guys in the ifb pro league right now because he's never competed a huge amount but when he has he's actually looked really good earlier in his career when he first turned pro i think he missed the mark slightly in a few contests but now he's working with cement factory which is aj sims he's really bringing it every time now so i can't wait to see what he does in 2021 at that tampa pro in our next story, we're discussing Muhammad Shaban, who just comes off a second place finish at that Puerto Rico Pro where he looked dramatically improved. Now, he did the California Pro a few weeks ago, came second to Patrick Moore there as well. And there's been sort of debate around both contests on if he actually should have won both of them. Um, many people believe that he could have beaten Patrick Moore. Many people even said he could have beaten Akeem Williams, including Ian Valier and Nick Walker on Food Abiod's podcast. And you got to say, he looked fantastic. I mean, you look at the improvements in his crazy transformation from the 2019 Mr. Olympia on the left to what he looked like at the Puerto Rico 
Victor Pori where he got second on the right. And it's just absolutely outstanding because the size of his legs, the difference there is absolutely huge. They look like almost double the size or maybe even more than double the size. You can see the adductors are touching a much, much further down. The side of him, the size of a medialis is absolutely crazy and how much muscle he just added to his whole frame really. But especially those legs are sort of what blows me away. Now, this was posted by his coach, Andrew Vu on Instagram. And he says, Mohamed Shaban, uh, 219 pounds of a 2019 Olympia to 243.6 pounds at the 2021 Puerto Rico Pro. Now that's 24.6 pounds difference between the 2019 Olympia and the Puerto Rico Pro. Probably about 20 months time it was, so just over one and a half years incredible gains and obviously like I said you can see so much through the legs there and I'm interested to hear what you guys think about Muhammad Shaban and his future potential not just for the rest of this year but going forward is this guy you know the fact that he's gained so much muscle so quickly and I've heard he's only been bodybuilding for really like five six years which is absolutely crazy so let me know about his future potential do you think this guy can be like a top five Mr. Olympia competitor does he have Mr. Olympia potential to actually win the whole contest let me know what you think in the comments below but moving on to our last topic and it's on Phil Heath and his plans for 2021 so he's just on the London Real podcast with Brian Rose and he was asked straight up what full interview of the Link is in the description below, but I found a few things interesting that Phil had to say. So he said that he should be allowed to step away from the stage and have that luxury to sort of come back later. I uh, mentioned obviously Arnold and what he did in 1980 when he made a comeback, but Arnold was coming back at 33 years of age. Phil Heath will be coming back at probably 43 to 45 years of age. He did obviously mention Dexter Jackson competing at over 50 years of age, but Dexter's sort of a different beast and he's, you know, always sort of maintained a physique and trained sort of at a lighter weight, which some people say Phil does as well, but his physique seems to be a little bit more intact and obviously Phil's had the hernia issues and everything like that. But he posted this up on Twitter and said, I haven't felt and looked this good in a long time. Body is finally responding after these two hernia surgeries and also a torn MCL mm -hmm. from 2020. I'm enjoying this process as all I think of is triumph. And he puts hashtag comeback season, hashtag the future is bright. So it's interesting that he actually writes that. Now he says comeback season. I mean, he competed last year, so it's not really a comeback, but everyone's saying, will Phil come back in 2021? So I don't think he will, obviously based off what he said on the Brian Rose podcast, the London Real one, but we could always see it maybe in a future year, maybe he steps away and does that whole acting thing for one to two years and goes, it's not working out or it is working out, but I still want to come back to the bodybuilding stage. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Can Phil come back in 2021 or do you think he'll actually come back and be successful in future years? Let me know what you think in the comments below on that. But that's it for this video. If you guys are interested in me doing a top five bodybuilder transformation video and including Muhammad Shaban in there and other guys that have made transformations even since turning pro, so someone who either year to year who's made a crazy transformation, like maybe like Jay Cutler did when he came back in 2009 and regained his Mr. Olympia title, that's a really good one. Let me know any examples of that in the comments below. And if you're interested in watching that video, let me know and I'll make that for you guys as well. Plus, I want to give a couple of shout outs to guys who have tagged me on Instagram and commented on my YouTube videos. So Levi Tate, um, he would at desktop bodybuilding tagged me in one of the uh, news stories and this guy here as well I don't know how to pronounce his actual Instagram handle but you can see it on the screen his name's Ahmad Munir so hopefully I got that right and then also I want to shout out one other person as well and it's Natalia Cohello. Um, I might have pronounced that slightly wrong sorry Natalia but um, she's always really supportive she's even just comments on my YouTube videos and says you know commenting just to help out so um, thank you so much Natalia so that's it for this video if you guys like and appreciate this content please give this video a thumbs up smash that like button and also subscribe and hit the notification bell button. That way you'll be notified of every video that goes up for myself, Xavier Wills at Desktop Bodybuilding. So for Xavier Wills, Desktop Bodybuilding, we are out.